everybody. Now we're going to make homemade stuffing. This is a different one. I did cornbread the other day. This is just the other way I do it. And I'm using the sage and onion. Cube stuffing. Okay. I'm going to put, I've chopped some onions. And I chopped them up in the chopper to make them fine. And that was one whole onion. And I used three celery chopped and make it fine. You don't have to, you can do it by hand too. And then we're gonna add, I'm gonna sprinkle some sage. Now I do this a little bit different. I like to heat up my chicken broth. I don't saute the celery or onions before I heat it up. I don't fry those. I just heat up my broth. Okay, let me see if my broth's ready. Yes, it's ready enough. Okay, I'm just gonna pour some in here. Now, don't really measure. I just pour it because I want it wet. I don't want it thick. I like it moist. Stir all that up. Let me get some salt and pepper. You do want to put your salt, and you'll have to test taste this, of course. smells good. I got more broth out just in case I need it. And I won't heat it up. I'll just pour it in here because this is already hot. Mm -hmm, it smells good. This is just a simple way I do it, but it's good. It tastes good. this broth. And I use two of the large containers of the broth. Got celery, onion, sage, salt and pepper. One second. Okay, let's put some more sage. You can get too much sage, so you have to you have to taste it, or you can get too much in it. To me, it just doesn't taste good. You can tell how the croutons are starting to mush together. That's why I like to keep my broth. What I'm going to do is put this in the fridge and then I'll bake it tomorrow. It'll all be set to go. I'm going to make broccoli rice casserole next and put that in the fridge and then that'll be all set to go tomorrow. All right, break out me a couple of spoons. Let's taste it. Put him finish off that little bag. Are you saving that little drop, is it? But sometimes I'll add a few pieces of bread in here, but I don't think I'm gonna have to. Open one 
more tan crop. Let me get it real quick. Because when it sits overnight, it'll get a little bit. It'll get thick. So if you like it wet, put a little bit of extra in there. Like I said, there's really no kind of measurements to it. I'm just letting you know what I mix together. And then you can make it, you know, if you want it real thick, then don't put a lot of broth in it. It's going to get a little bit thick in the bakes anyway. watch how much salt you pick as you, you know you can get it too salty that looks yummy won't that be good for turkey tomorrow all right now let's try this with another clean spoon Salt, just a little. More salt. spoon and we'll taste it again. When you cook, you get through a lot of spoons, don't you? It's good. It's a little bit more sage, I think. So you just keep working with it, keep tasting it. So you get cube stuffing, chicken broth, celery, onion, and sage, and salt and pepper. And that's it. Nothing special. No eggs, no nothing like that in this. Just simple. If you don't have enough stuffing, say you got half a bag or one bag, add bread. If you don't have stuffing, then just make out just do bread only. I've done that and it's good. And want to spray your pan before you put it in the fridge and then pour your stuff in in your pan and then you're all set to go. I should have got two clean spoons. Let me get another one. have to get it just right on the sage. Just a tad more sage and it's done. I'll tell you why I heat up my bra. Because to me, when it's heated like that, you can taste the sage better and you can tell better. To me, you may not think so, but how much more sage you need instead of it going in cold and everything cold see this bowl's hot and then I'll bake in the oven like at 350 for like an hour you can tell when it's done 45 minutes to an hour just keep checking on it don't over bake and this is it guys and I'm going to put it in my pan and then I'm going to put it in the fridge and bake it tomorrow see there all done I'll be back in a minute with broccoli rice casserole.